At 20, I was fortunate enough to have the opportunity to travel to the Sinai Desert, and it's a stunningly beautiful place. I had my aunt's crappy point-and-shoot camera, and I started taking pictures. It was a really pivotal experience for me because I discovered a passion for taking pictures and decided to pursue a career in photography. Initially, I thought that my career would be in photojournalism, and because I think photojournalists are heroes. They sacrifice so much to bring us images that can make a real difference in how we understand and perceive the world. And I wanted to make that kind of difference as well and create powerful images. But soon I found that the life of a photojournalist was the wrong career choice for me. I'm very social and I love collaborating with others, so I felt that commercial photography would be a much better fit. I'm a visual storyteller and I love bringing concepts to life. The mix of advertising, editorial and corporate direct uh, really have different production needs which keeps everything really interesting and every day is different and I love that. Often a photo editor will send me out to document uh, personal images to serve or support enhance a story. Other times I find myself working with a large production crew, bringing an advertising concept to life, or working on my own personal project. Whatever it is, it's storytelling, and I love that, and I love to mix it up. When I have the opportunity to cast a project, I'm thrilled. I love the process of finding the perfect subject for my photograph, and I'm always looking for unique personalities with chemistry. And I'm clearly drawn to subjects who are a bit quirky. Though my subjects aren't often characterized as classically beautiful, they are beautiful and so interesting. It's hard to take your eyes off of them. Casting can make or break an image, and I won't stop looking until I find the perfect fit. In addition to commercial work, I've always shot my own personal projects. They've always been so important to me. They have a longer production timeline, but I always plan it and execute it in between assignments. My first project was track record, and I spent two years at the local race track here in Vancouver uh, photographing these unique characters that spend most of their time there. I learned how to bet on the ponies and basically just embedded myself there. I approached people with my camera and sometimes was shot down right away, but other times um, people were quite receptive. I exhibited track record in Vancouver, elsewhere in Canada, and also in Europe. My next project presented itself in 2007 uh, when my mother was diagnosed with breast cancer and uh, thankfully she's fully recovered but at that time I was very sad and I was very scared and at the same time I was watching my daughter Jordan enthralled with Disney princesses so I began to wonder what if these princesses had to deal with real life challenges what if Prince Charming lost his kingdom and couldn't support Snow White what if uh, Rapunzel had cancer what if Sleeping Beauty never woke up but it really everybody else got old around her I made Fallen Princesses over a two-year period, and in 2009, the pictures went viral and found this international audience, and they became the subjects of many articles and online chatter. Since then, they've won several awards. They've been used as teaching tools in high schools and universities around the world. My most recent project will be launched shortly. In the Dollhouse is another 10-part series uh, which chronicles the life of being K in their perfectly unhappy home. My extremely talented crew and I built a four-room furnished set for this which was definitely my most involved endeavor to date. Take a look at the video, it was a lot of fun. Whether I'm working here in my Vancouver studio, across town on location, or somewhere else in the world, I look forward and fully embrace the amazing work that comes my way.